be tax questions whether you file with me or whether you file with anybody else. That's good. Any tax questions you have, please feel free to contact me. That's right. We're on live. We're gonna get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? I have been doing taxes myself for 20 years. Um, I have my own company. It's called Get Max Tax. Okay, let me tell um, you. You put it in the comments. It's all okay. one word. Get Max Tax. M A X. Get. Yes, and then Max, and then mm. Tax. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Um, at this time, we are doing advancements up to six thousand dollars for those who qualify um i do self-employed clients i do a uh, single no kids i do marry filing joint filing separately and i do the head of household which is the qualifying person that will be carrying a qualified child okay. um right now due to COVID. I am doing virtual. I'm doing them by phone. I will come to you or you can come to me. It's totally up to you. And that's all because of COVID. I am at this time letting everybody know that is self-employed. It's best because of so much of crime and fraud that went on throughout COVID. Just hear me. The IRS is not playing. If you're self-employed and you're filing self-employed with me, I only ask that if you don't have your EIN, which is your um, identification, that you have your own business, I will be able to help you to get that. I would need something showing your business. Okay. Great point. Like a business card, your flyers, if you're on Facebook, if you're on IG, just showing that you have a legit business. Y'all hear that? That's all I'm asking for. Ain't no faking business you know? going on. Go ahead. And like I said, I'm 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 maxing them out this year. I am maxing them out. They they have so many different um, how can I put? It? They have so many different credits that are that's giving you extra money. Let me quickly talk about the stimulus and how it's tied in with Wait, your taxes your this year. Okay, if you did not get the twelve hundred dollars and you got the second one for six hundred dollars, what is happening is we would be able to put. That $1,200 that you did not get towards a credit on your income tax so that you would get that in your return. So let's say you didn't get either one, but you would do both of them. So that'll be an $1,800 credit on your um, taxes. That's what the IRS is giving back to those who didn't get those checks. Because there was so many glitches with people getting the checks for them coming out to where now they're going to give you that credit back on your income tax when you file them. Okay. But, and here's the but, if you did not file 2019, you're not going to get that stimulus check, period. That's number one. And you're not going to get that credit in 2020. That's the catch. Okay, that's, that's a great point. Great, great point. Um, 
I'm not a tech fanatic, so I'm not, I don't claim to be, but um, what questions do people for the first time come to you if they have questions about, you know, uh, taxes and things like that? What, what are the most uh, questions that you get about uh, tax filing, you know, like, you follow what I'm saying? How much, how much will I get back? How much will I get <laughs> back if I file my taxes with one child? How much would I get back if I file my taxes with two, three? That's my biggest question. And the second biggest question is, what if I don't have any kids to carry? Will I get any money back? Those are my single filing no kids. Okay. My answer to the single filing no kids, did you allow them to take any taxes from you? Some say yes, some say no. Some get back and some have to pay back. When you file exempt and you're single with no kids, nine times out of 10, if you don't have anything to offset that, and when I say offset, meaning if you don't have anything that you want to deduct, like um, all your taxes you paid for your house or if you bought a new car, you can deduct that. That'll help you get money and also your tithes that you paid at church. You can you can file your tithes because that's a contribution. Mm -hmm. You know, those are my biggest questions. And when it comes to the kids, let me put that out there. <sighs> when you're filing your taxes and you're claiming your kids, I myself, I'm going to ask you because I can only go by what you say. One, are these your kids? Mm -hmm. Two, is anybody else going to file taxes for your kids? That's important. Three, do you have any offsets? Offsets is when you owe the federal government, the state, or any agent. If you owe them any money, I need to know that. Because nine times out of ten, you're not going to get anything back. In my paperwork, I have a written document that I need you to sign. If the kids do not belong to you and someone says, yes, you can carry their kids, I need that in writing. I'm going to say such and such kids because I don't want that coming back on me. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't want anything coming back on my company. Because I can only go by what you're telling me. Because mm -hmm. I don't live in the house with you. I haven't had any issues with anybody with their kids. Because I, the, the only issue I ever had, and this was about 10 years ago, and I'm going to cut it off. No. I had two parents. They separated. And see, that right there, that's called a tiebreaker. One parent said, I, care, I, 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 I took care of this kid. The other parents said, well, the kids stayed in my house. Both of them filed. Mm. The father got the money. The mother didn't. Mm. And she was livid. The father filed before her. So what I had to do, I sent a written statement to the IRS. What the IRS told me was this. If the father is on the birth certificate and if he filed first, he gets the claim it. He gets okay. to claim the child. That was that's important information right though. Now, if he was not on the birth certificate and the child lived in that house with the mother, that would have been a different ball game. Mm -hmm. She could have filed. It would have took a long, long time for her to get her money. And then they would have countered back to him where he would have had to pay back the money that he got. Mm. Okay. That's very, yeah. very, very helpful information, man. Because these days, that's, that definitely does happen a lot. Um, yeah. When they call, when they contact you, if somebody's interested in contacting, what all the information, what all information they need to have, uh, you know, when you when they first contact you, 
So they want you want to, you know, send them back and forth to, to get uh, various pieces of paper. What, what do they need? Okay, I do not. And let me put that out there. Erica Donaldson at Get Max Jacks. I do not file less paycheck stuff. I only file when you have everything, all of your W-2s. And the reason why I do not do last paycheck stuff because the last paycheck stuff is not accurate only way i would do your last paycheck stuff is if i already have you've been following with me it's the same job you've been there for a while because once i put your name in the system your w-2s are going to pop up in my system because you file with me so i will get the accurate right. information but if you're coming to me as a first-time client I would like for you to have your driver's license or your ID, social security card of your for yourself and for your kids or whomever you're carrying, your W-2s, and that's all. If you are self-employed, I need you to come with your EIN number. If you do not have an EIN number, let me know ahead of time so we can work on getting that because that's something that you need to have. You need to register your business because registering your business will give you more perks, will give you more opportunities. And when your small business grows, you will be able to qualify for all those grants and loans that they have out here. All that good money that they have for small businesses. A lot of people don't know that. Small Wait. business, I would like like your your EIN number, driver's license or ID, something showing me your business. It could be a flyer that you put out, your business card. If you have documentation showing what you spent or what you use over that year for taxes, bring that to. Okay. If you don't have it, but you know it, we're going to work that up. I don't mind working that up. And that's all that I require. Okay. 